Okay, so about a month ago, I had to do this project where I needed to put a timer on a video, and I didn't exactly know how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. I've never really had to put timers on stuff before, um, and I was looking up some like videos on YouTube trying to figure out how to do it, and all of them were like super long, super complex, all this math and formulas and this. Um, it is not that hard. It takes you like two seconds, maybe three simple steps, so let's uh, get right into it. Okay, so I have my surface here with our DaVinci Resolved open. So to begin, we're gonna go ahead and take our text plus. It's basically like your text option, but just with some extra benefits and everything. Um, it's pretty cool. So as you're gonna see here, we're starting off and it just says custom title. Nothing's even happening. There's no timer. But if we go up here, if we click on this, right click, and we go to text timer, great. It's a text timer. That should totally work, right? 100%. Um, except whenever I do it, it only just says one second. It's literally useless, has never worked for me, pointless. So we'll right click over here, we're gonna remove text timer, and we're gonna add something called time code. We have a timer, it's counting up, it's got one second, two second. It's great, that'll work. Except, if you know anything about video, you're gonna see it's going from 23 to zero. Timing, However, when you're doing fractions and like decimal points of a second, it goes from zero to a hundred. And that's not gonna work for if you're trying to upload something with like tenths of a second, hundreds of a second, or thousandths of a second. So we need to turn this time code into actual seconds. Now, if we go over here, right click on this again, and say expression, you're gonna see it locks in eight seconds for the entire thing because it essentially makes it into a string and just puts it in quotes and stuff like that. Um, but if we get rid of all of that and put time, now we have another sort of timer. This is an ascending count timer, right? It just counts the number of frames since the beginning, right? So you have seven, and it goes up by 24 every second. Now what we need to do is take our time and divide it by our frame rate. Now you could probably divide it by 24, but I'm gonna do the exact number, which for me is 23.976. And now you'll see we have a number with a decimal point and a whole bunch of trailing numbers behind the decimal point. And you'll see this, however, looks like an actual timer. We're actually like getting there, except for all of the mass of numbers, you know, behind it. To get rid of those, we're going to go down here to where it says right on, and we will get rid of all of these and go down to just the thousandths of a second, and we'll left justify it and stuff like that. Now, when we're running, Boom, here is our timer, it is going, and we can count, you know, do all that, and gives ourselves a timer in the hundredths, thousandths, however, you know, far you need to go for rounding and everything like that. Now, let's say, you know, you're doing some exercises, and we can want to apply the same thing. Let's see, when do we cross the line? Probably like right there, right? We cross the line. This is just me, like, running outside and everything, you know, doing some exercises. And let's see, we cross the line right about there. So we'll bring our text timer over and boom, it's about 8.29 seconds. And that's not 29 frames, that is a third of a second. So that's about it. You can do a timer in like less than five minutes. Um, all the other tutorials are like super complicated. I hope this one is pretty easy for you guys to understand and follow. Um, just right click, add an expression and time divided by your frame rate and it's, easy to go. So if you learned anything, hit like. If you uh, want to see more videos, consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment down below if this helped you and if there's any more DaVinci Resolve things you'd like to learn in the future. Other than that, have a fantastic day. It is sunny outside, kind of kind of cloudy mostly. But anyways, I'm probably going to go for another run today. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.